A terrifying video has emerged over the course of the weekend that shows a Utah hiker being stalked by a mountain lion after he stumbled upon her cubs. The man's name is Kyle Burgess and luckily he knew exactly what to do in order to avoid the worst case scenario and as always we're about to break it all down for you right here on IO. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm your host and bacon overlord Johnny Rogers and you're watching the number one tea spilling entertainment news show on the internet. Before we kick this video off, if you want to see what your favorite celebrities and influencers have been up to lately, just tap that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also if you want to get notified whenever we post new content, you gotta hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Now without any further delay, let's get right into today's story. This new viral video of a cougar stalking Kyle just proves that nature is no joke. Kyle was just heading out to his local trail to go for a run when he accidentally stumbled across a mama cougar and her cubs. Initially he thought what he had found were bobcats on the trail, but when it turned out to be cougar cubs, his adrenaline definitely spiked. Kyle was on a run about two miles up Slate Canyon on Saturday evening when four small animals crossed into the trail ahead. As I just said, thinking they were bobcats, he pulled out his phone and started recording them. Just a few seconds later, this pleasant discovery turned into an absolute nightmare. When the mother emerged from the brush, it dawned on Kyle that he was now in serious trouble. Everyone knows, including Kyle, that a mother will always protect her cubs at all costs, and so the fully grown mountain lion mother began charging at him. Kyle's adrenaline fired up, which led to a steady flow of profanities as he kept his back away from the wild animal. The cougar repeatedly dove into the trees along the side of the trail in an attempt to flank him as well, but Kyle managed to keep an eye on it to remain safe. As she reappeared on the trail, the cougar's eyes were locked onto him as if he was a meal she would enjoy in a matter of moments. What followed was perhaps the longest six minutes of this young man's life. The 26 year old from Orem did everything he could possibly think of to scare the cougar off. As I said, he never turned his back to the animal. He knew to back away from it not too fast because if he moved quickly, the cougar would most likely see that as an obvious threat and attempt another lunging attack. So to let this animal know what's up, Kyle repeatedly cursed, yelled, growled, and grunted as the cougar followed. The fact that he gets the entire interaction on camera is wild as well. In parts, you can see the cougar flashing her teeth at him, pinning her ears back while its tail swishes around. These are telltale signs that a cat is about to pounce, which just made the video even more nerve wracking to watch. Kyle also said that every time he would take his eyes off of her or try to lean down to grab a rock that he could throw, the mountain lion would begin hissing and then lunge at him again. In every pounce the cougar took, her front paws and claws would flare and her powerful hind legs would kick up the dust and gravel on the trail. In a moment of panic like this, it's interesting to see how he handled the whole situation and shockingly enough, I don't think there was a better way to handle it. I mean, unless you had a weapon or something, but it, for Kyle, this was like really in the moment stuff. I mean, if that cougar understands English, Kyle was just being very honest with her. He kept yelling in the video, you're good, you're a good little kitty cat. Even telling the cat to go, go get your babies, go get your babies. Even when the cougar lunges at him again, he pleads with the cat saying, come on, dude, I don't feel like dying today. Finally, after those six long minutes of this big cat stalking him on the trail and pushing him away from her babies, he manages to get a hold of a rock. Once Kyle hurls the rock, at the mountain lion, it hits the animal dead on, which is when yeah, we see her giving up and running back down the trail. The brutal part about this whole interaction was that Burgess was almost done with a 10 mile loop when he came across the mountain lion family. So we actually had to head back towards the Slate Canyon trailhead or else he would be running seven miles back the other way. Although before doing so, he waited about 30 minutes and this time carried a stick and rock in hand just in case. Kyle also jokingly recalled running into some other hikers on his way back and when he asked them if they had seen a mountain lion, they they just laughed it off. That was until he showed them the video that he had just recorded. On his way back, there were no sign of the cougar and he was able to make it home safely without a scratch. Later on, Kyle told the press how strikingly beautiful but also how powerful and scary these animals could be while he kept his eyes locked onto her. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, what Kyle did was good, but you also want to remain as large as you can while making lots of noise. As I said, the moment that he dropped to a lower position to get that rock, the cougar saw this as an opportunity to strike. So staying big, staying calm, and staying loud is probably your best bet for survival. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Amber Heard Major Lawsuit Update. Yoga Dork says, honestly, who needs to make fake accounts to trash Amber Heard? She's an awful excuse for a person and enough real accounts know this. Yeah, I honestly don't know what she was thinking with this new claim. It's just absolutely bizarre. Great Memoir says, so did she forget that there are also recordings of her admitting to hitting Johnny? She's so dumb, I swear. <laughs> she must have just conveniently forgotten about all these leaked audio tapes. But I don't know how that happens, but eh, here we are. Joanna says, I'm pretty sure Johnny isn't paying me, but I hope Amber just goes to jail. I am a real human being, Amber, I have a birth certificate. <laughs> hey, you heard it here first, Amber. We got receipts if you need it. No fake accounts paid for by Johnny Depp's legal team. Although that would be cool. 
Miss Megan says, Amber Heard is giving me heavy Karen vibes. Heavy Karen vibes indeed. Give it five years and she'll have gone full Karen with the haircut and everything. I mean, our next video might be uh, Amber Heard demands to speak with the manager. I don't know, sounds like a good one. Zoe Way says, I don't need Johnny to pay me to express my disgust for his ex-wife. She inspires that by simply existing at this point. <laughs> well, I'm happy to see that you guys aren't actually bots paid for by Johnny Depp's legal team. I mean, if you are, you're the coolest bots in existence. Thank you so much for watching today's trending news segment and thank you to the most amazing team behind the scenes for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, then please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's story. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is hit that playlist when it pops up. From Inform Overload, my name is Johnny Rogers and until next time, stay classy.